marketing mix is a combination of products, distribution or place, systems, pricing, promotion, and people to carry out their marketing plan. This brand is used by marketing managers to satisfy target customers. The combination may be used in both non-business and business circumstances. The essence of product development, pricing, placing or distribution, and promoting a product. Product development. Product development usually refers to the inter process of taking a product from concept through commercial release and beyond. In other words, product development encompasses the complete life cycle of a product. Next, we have pricing. Pricing is significant because it establishes the value of your product for both you and your customers. It is an measurable pricing point that tells buyers if it's worth their time or money. Next, we have placing distribution. Placing distribution is the process of effectively managing the factory's procurement, raw materials, and the transportation of goods from the producer or maker to B2B customer and consumers. Next, we have promoting product or services. Promotion is an important part of getting the word out to customers about the benefits of your product service. Marketing and promotion tactics that are well designed promote long-term success, more consumers, and profitability for business. Difference between product, services, and experience. Product are objects or systems made available for customer use, while services are transactions in which the seller does not transmit physical goods to the buyer. The main difference between services and product is services are intangible, while products are tangible. Experience is what they discover, lingering, sustainable, and unexpected in good or bad ways. So, five factors to consider when pricing product or services. Cost. First and foremost, you must be financially aware. Work at the cost of running your businesses before you determine your pricing. This in both your fixed and very cost. Customers. Understand what your customer expects from your goods and services. This information will help you determine whether your pricing is suitable, what level of services or conclusion should be provided, and finally, whether you are targeting appropriate market. Positioning. After you figure out who your customer is, you want to consider your positioning to start to get an idea of your preferred pricing once you made your decision. Competitors. One of the most important times to give yourself permission to perform some competition snooping. What do they charge for various goods and services with their pricing who are they targeting as customers? Profit. How much profit do I want to make? It's one of the most crucial questions that business owners call to ask themselves. They ask, look at what others charge and then make up a number to be competitive without considering how much profit they want and need. Is the company's chosen path or method for delivering its product or service to customers. The path might be as simple as a direct relationship between the firm and the client, or it can contain a number of interconnected intermediaries such as wholesalers, distributors, and retailers. Functions of distribution channels Time, place, and ownership are all advantage of using distribution channels. They make the product available to customers when, where, and in the amount that they choose. These are the other functions. 1. Logistic and physical distribution is an assembly, storage, sorting, and delivery of goods from manufacturers to buyers are all handled through marketing channels. 2. Facilitation are pre-sale and post-sale services such as finance, maintenance, information dissemination, and channel coordination are also provided through distribution channel. 3. Creating efficiencies. This is accomplished in two ways. 
bulk breaking and assortment creation. Wholesalers and retailers buy huge numbers of items from producers but sell just a handful at a time to variety of different channels and consumers. 4. Sharing risk. The, since most channels purchase things in advance, they share the risk with the manufacturers and do everything they can to sell them. And 5. Marketing. Since distribution channels are among the primary touch points where many marketing tactics are implemented, they are also known as marketing channels. The nature of supply chain management. The administration of flow of products is referred to as supply chain management and it encompasses all procedures that turn raw materials into finished items. It entails actively simplifying a company's supply side processes in order to increase customer value and achieve a competitive advantage in the market. What is promotional tools? Promotional tools are methods or actions that you develop and carry out in order to encourage customers to purchase your goods and services. Advertising Any sort of paid communication or promotion for a product is referred to as advertising. Advertising is utilized not just by business but also by museums, government agencies, and charitable groups. Sales promotion Promotion is a type of incentive designed to boost a short-term sales. Promotion can be targeted at either consumers or business. The goal of advertising is to generate a reason for people to buy something, whereas the goal of promotion is to create an incentive for people to acquire something. Samples, coupons, free trials, and demonstrations might be used as consumer incentives. Personal Selling Personal selling is the most successful advertising strategy in forming consumer preferences, convictions, and actions at key points of the purchase process. Personal selling entails face-to-face -face interactions between two or more persons. Actually, this can help both parties understand each other's characteristics and needs. Public Relations Companies can't survive in isolation. They need to connect with customers, employees, and stakeholders. This servicing relation is done by the Public Relations Office. The Public Relations Office key responsibilities include handling the press releases, product publicity, creating and maintaining the company image, dealing with the lawmakers, and advising management on public problems. Direct Marketing Direct marketing is defined as communication that occurs through a direct route with the use of intermediaries. Direct marketing is a method communicating a message or providing a service. Direct marketing saves time and money and provides more personal experience. The internet has played an important part in this development. Direct marketing uses face-to-face -face selling, direct mail, catalog marketing, telemarketing, TV and kiosks as media for direct marketing. I just wanna know.